Welcome to Woggle Guides. In this guide, I'll share with you some of the advanced settings in Gmail and explain how they can help to manage your emails. Let's get straight into it. I'm logged into Google and I'm in my Gmail inbox. The advanced settings in Gmail are found in the Details Settings section of the app. To open that, I'll move my mouse to the top right of the inbox and I'll click on the Settings link that looks like a gear. This opens up the Quick Settings panel, but we need to dive into the Details Settings. So I'll click on the See All Settings button at the top of this page. A new page is then opened with a number of different settings areas, but we're interested in the Advanced Settings tab. I'll click on that once to open it. The first setting, Auto Advance, fixes an annoying feature in Gmail. Currently in your inbox, if you click into an email and then decide to delete that mail, you're immediately returned to your inbox again. This also happens if you archive or choose to mute a conversation. Returning to the Detail Settings page, let's see what happens when I turn on the Auto Advance feature by clicking on the Enable option in this section. And I'll move down to the bottom of the page and I'll then click on the Save Changes button to confirm that. The Gmail inbox then reloads. Now let's click into an email in the inbox and you'll see that when I choose to delete that email, Gmail now automatically moves us to the next email in the inbox. This Auto Advanced feature also works if you choose to archive an email or when you want to mute an email conversation in Gmail. Returning to the Advanced Settings page, the next section we're going to look at is Templates. If you find yourself sending the same messages out time and time again, using email templates in Gmail can be a great time-saving hack that allows you to quickly send similar emails. At the moment, the Templates feature can only be turned on and used in Gmail on the web. You won't find a way to use this in the Gmail mobile app, but this may change in the future. To turn this setting on in Gmail, let's choose the Enable option in that row. And as before, remember to click the Save Changes button at the bottom of the page in order to confirm that change. Gmail will then reload, and you'll see we'll return to our inbox. To access the Templates feature in Gmail, you need to open a new email window. I can do this by clicking on the Compose an Email button in the top left of our inbox. If I now click on the three dots icon, a number of options are shown, but you'll see a new one that has now been added called Templates. I can use this feature to load email templates that I've already written or create new ones. If you want to find out how to create templates that you can reuse, check out the Woggle Guide shown above which explains how to do this for both new emails and replies to any emails you receive. Returning to the Advanced Settings section, we'll now turn our attention to the Custom Keyboard Shortcuts option. A keyboard shortcut is a feature that allows you to quickly do something in Gmail without using your mouse. To get the most out of this feature, you'll firstly need to turn Keyboard Shortcuts on in Gmail. You can find this in the General Settings tab. Let's click into that now. I'll scroll down in this page until I reach the section called Keyboard Shortcuts. This is currently set to off, so I'll quickly turn that on, and as always, scroll down to the bottom of the page to click the Save Changes button. The Gmail inbox then reloads. Gmail has a large number of preset keyboard shortcuts, which you can quickly see by pressing the Control and Question Mark keys together if you're using Windows, or the Command and Question Mark keys if you're using a Mac. The shortcut I use most often is the C key, which quickly displays a blank email window to allow me to quickly write a new email. Check out the Woggle Guide shown above if you want to find out more about the shortcuts you can use in Gmail. Returning to the Advanced Settings section, the Custom Keyboard Shortcuts feature allows you to define your own keyboard shortcuts. Let's enable this now, and I'll confirm that by clicking on the Save Changes button at the bottom of this page. Our inbox then reloads but I'm going to go straight back into the Gmail settings section. You'll see there's now a new tab in the settings section called Keyboard Shortcuts. If I click into that, you can see that many of the keyboard shortcuts I flashed on screen earlier are shown. Let's look at how easy it is to add our own custom shortcuts. 
I'll scroll down to the Compose an Email shortcut I showed you previously. You'll remember I pressed the C key. I'm going to change this shortcut to an N, just by selecting it and over typing my preferred shortcut. The N shortcut is used by Outlook to compose a new email, so it's something I use very often. And to save that, I'll scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on the Save Changes button. Once the Gmail inbox is reloaded, if I now press the N key, you'll see that a new Compose Email window is opened. The next advanced setting allows you to tweak how the chat options are shown in your inbox. As you can see, by default, the Gmail chat feature is shown on the lower left hand side of the inbox. If I now return to the Advanced tab in Settings, the Next Settings option gives us the choice to move that chat feature to the right side of the inbox. You might decide to do this if you want to change the layout of your inbox. If you're interested in removing the chat and meet features completely from your inbox, check out the Woggle guide shown above. To make this change, I just need to click on the Enable button, and I'll click on the Save Changes button at the bottom of the page to confirm that change. And when the inbox reloads, you can see the chat and meet features are now on the right hand side of the inbox. This last advanced setting turns on a very useful but little known feature in Gmail. This option allows you to see how many unread messages are in your inbox without having to log in to Gmail, but you do have to turn it on before you can use it. This will show a count of how many emails you still have to read in the Gmail icon you have on your internet browser. To turn it on, all I need to do is click on the Enable option in this section. To confirm that change to our settings, I'll then click the Save Changes button on the bottom of the page. The Gmail inbox will then reload. It doesn't look like anything has happened, but let me show you what that change has done. I'm going to open a new tab in my Chrome internet browser, and you'll see that on that page, the Gmail icon has now changed, and has a zero next to the Gmail symbol. As I receive new emails, you'll see that the email count increases to tell me how many unread emails I have in my Gmail inbox. This is really useful if you don't log into Gmail very often, as it will let you know if there are any emails waiting to be read. If you have a Gmail icon in the shortcut bar at the top of your internet browser, you'll see that this also has an email count next to the Gmail symbol. I hope you find this Woggle guide useful and learned something new. If you have, please like or subscribe so that other users can find it too. Thanks for watching and do look after yourself until next time.